वेलकम टू द इंडियन अनलॉक्स गाइस दिस इज ऋषि के एंड इन दिस वीडियो टुडे वी गोइंग टू लुक एट द राइजन 7 1700 एंड राइजन 5 1500एक्स सीपीयूज एंड व्हाट दे कैन डू फॉर यू यस वी हैव एक्चुअली बिल्ट अ राइजन बिल्ड फ्यू मंथ्स बैक एंड यू कैन चेक द वीडियो आउट राइट हियर सो विदाउट फर्दर टू डू लेट्स जस्ट बिल्ड द सिस्टम रन सम बेंचमार्क्स एंड प्ले सम गेम्स एंड यस वी आर गोइंग टू ओवरक्लॉक दिस वीस एज़ वेल एंड अ लॉट मोर टू डू विद राइजन इज कमिंग अप इन दिस बिल्ड सीरीज एज़ वेल So without any further awaiting and wasting any more further time let's begin the first episode of fun with ryzen so let's roll the intro shall we welcome back folks first of all these cpus were sent in by amd for testing under our no bias review system agreement and yes they have agreed to that also thanks to other oems like cooler master asus e data and corsair for sending in their products for review as well today we're going to build and test a system with the following parts let's begin so cpu wise we have two cpus out in here the ryzen 7 1700 and the ryzen 5 1500x now these are sent by amd as i told you before and we'll be testing it out and these processors also do come with a cooler inside the box so that's a good thing to start your build at least without waiting for other parts to come in Okay, so let's take a look at the motherboard now. The motherboard that we're going to use today is the Asus Prime X three seventy Pro, and this is a quite good budget friendly motherboard uh, for the X three seventy chipset, sort of like a younger brother to the ROG series of Maxims board from Asus as well. Coming to the memory that we're going to use for the system, we have the Dazzle XPG from A Data, and this is a red LED kit. But yeah, RGB versions are coming soon from A Data as well. So yeah. Talking about the storage, yes, that is also from A Data. That is the XPG series of SX930 series SSD. Now these are normal SATA 6 GBS SSDs, and they are, and they are performing really great in our testing. So we'll be using this for our test bench. Power supply wise, we have the Cooler Master GX750 series that we used on the, that we used in our previous build. So we are going to use that as the test kit out in here. Coming to the peripherals that we are going to use today is we have the Corsair Gaming K55 RGB keyboard from Corsair obviously along with the Corsair Harpoon RGB mice from Corsair so these are the two this is not a mechanical keyboard by any sense this is a membrane keyboard but yes it does the feature RGB lighting and six macro keys on the side as well so yeah that's a good thing and it's a full size keyboard with palm rest and all included so reviews will be coming later But without any further ado, let's get to the case itself. The case that we have chosen today is none other than a trusty old Half XB from Cooler Master. Now this is my own purchase. This Cooler Master has not sent it to us. Why I chose this case was because I knew that sometime in the future I might need to build a test bench, and for this the case is really open and a really great alternative for opening a test bench system. So that's why I chose this case as my primary case. and here we are down the lane we are making a test bench out of it cooler wise we have the amd supplied cooler along with the cpu itself and if that is not adequate for overclocking and all we will just shift it to a aio from uh, cooler master or from corsair whichever is easier to do so with all the details out of the way let's just build the test brick install fresh windows copy on it and let's get to the testing of it let's begin
everybody's going to the party, have a real good time. Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. 